Hello, I'm Ed Trillism, and welcome back to Children of the Dead Earth, the hyper-realistic space combat simulator. So, today we'll be doing the Uranian cargo run, which is we've got to do a transfer from Miranda to Titania in the Uranus system, and get our freighter to a cargo station. We have a tight time limit, um, so I've got like a, a limit on that. We've got a tight Delta V budget, so we can't burn like crazy. Out of plane maneuvering. Excellent. Although, as far as I'm aware, uh, Miranda and Titania actually have a relatively similar plane of uh, orb orbital plane, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Retrograde maneuvering, which will be fun, and an orbital transfer. Got to go between two different celestial bodies. One being Miranda and the other one being Titania. Yeah, let's dive in. Whoop. And yes, we've got to ship um, a load of plutonium and uranium. So yeah, actually, it is a uranium cargo run. I've been having so much difficulty not saying uranium cargo run. Right, so we're here. We've got to get out to here. We have a time limit of 20 days. Right, well, let's get going. So, the problem to burn more about here. We want our momentum from our orbital velocity to sort of ping us in that direction. Let's set the frame of reference to... Actually, let's just leave the frame of reference as it is for the moment. We'll alter it a bit. Right, trajectory. Burn that way. Okay, and let's switch frame of reference to Titania. Okay. There we go, sort of like there. Now, here's the downside. We could do it a lot quicker if we just directly went to Titania. Instead, we're going out and back round. I don't know if that's very really necessary. I mean, if we look at it from the point of view of uh, Uranus, we're catching on the return journey, so here, rather than on the outward journey. I guess if we started burning a lot earlier in our orbit. Let's try and let's try and do this like optimally if we can. So we want to select uh, Miranda. We want to burn about here. Switch over to using uh, Titania as a frame of reference. Oh my god, I love the frame of reference thing. By the way, it's so amazing. Seriously helped with this. Actually, want to go that way. Okay, I'm totally confused. Go back to our original frame of reference, Miranda. Right. I am very confused right now. We want to be burning this direction. Okay, good. That is all of our delta v. Interesting. Okay, well, let's not do it from there then. We'll do our burn about here. Definitely gonna need to burn more. Right, switch frame of reference to Titania. far as we can get from that position. Okay, let's switch back to Miranda. We'll go back to what we were doing before, which was a little bit further around. So we'll put a node there. We'll burn outwards there. Yeah, that's a lot better. Switch frame of reference. We only need to actually just get up to the orbit once. And we can always do a radial burn bring this around. It'll take a lot of delta V to do so, but I think we've got the delta V to spare. We can then reduce the tangential burn. Now bear in mind that doing um, 
What's this burn called? The radial burn is actually very expensive. But we're going to try and get there as fast as possible. There we go. Now, I don't know if we have enough Delta V to really manage this, so we're going to try and set up the majority of this um, on the way. So we're going to set up another node here. This is our ascending node. And we're going to push the orbit down. Um, we're missing that just. So that's, oh god, I didn't mean to influence it that much. Well, let's pull it back in a little bit. Give me the radial handle. Okay. Where's our... Oh, our, never, our other burn's gone. Okay. Well, we can't alter the previous burns, it appears. Right. Passing there. And then... Join. Oh, it's a bit too expensive to join. The question is, when we meet it, which way around will we be going? Let's have a quick look. It looks like, yeah, we're going to be in the opposite direction when we get there, so we want to actually match it. So we want to be on the other side of the planet, because currently we're on the wrong side. So if we... How are we doing now? Closer. Okay, we're going to have to start tweaking our early nodes to actually make sure that we can get there. We'll get there slower. But it's something we have to live with. Right. We'll do a... Um, why don't we do the burn all the way over here? No. Okay. Gets us closer. Gets us closer. Come on, we got this. Yeah, that is a good deal closer. Now, I'm going to try and get it so that we're at least as close as possible when we actually leave here. Uh, close, but no cigar, we need to burn upwards. Better. Okay, that'll do. So we'll do that burn. Right, burn complete. And then match orbit. And in fact, that's matching the orbit of the planet. We want to make sure we are matching the station. So let's switch the station to our frame of reference. Right, uh, switch the camera around. Come on, we got this. Put in a trajectory nice and close to us so it'll cost less. Okay. Um, it needs to be a bit more tangential. Okay, maybe a bit too much there. And then a bit. There we go. About to plane there. Still not quite got the intercept that we want. But it gets us closer. So we'll take it. Do a six hour burn. And there we go. Let's do a join. 
There we go. It's going to take a lot of Delta V, but we can do it. <clears throat> so... Notice how we came in like that and then had to burn massively to catch up because we were going in the wrong direction. That's an expensive burn. But we did it. Oh yeah. Uh, the rating was silver. Berg. Okay. Um, we've done that. Let's go to the next mission. Okay. This is your first head-to-head -head combat. We're finally taking Ceres back. Uh, the enemy outnumbers our invasion force significantly. Oh dear. Uh, within our presence, uh, around the we can't spare additional ships from Mars or Vesta. Our incoming fleet is fully stocked with fission from last mission. Excellent, so we have lots of nukes. And although the odds are not good, we're confidently able to destroy the enemy and retake Ceres. Uh, we have a, at disposal a small fleet you may customize. Ooh. You'll be entering a uh, Serian orbit. And control will be passed to you as soon as the invasion repellent stages are discarded. Now, uh, it mentions in an earlier, like, little blurb thing somewhere that uh, to get from one planet to another, generally all spaceships, like, strap on big boosts of fuel, which you dump when you get to the planet. The great thing is, it really motivates people to do the invasion well because they don't have enough fuel to leave. Um, do, 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 do. The enemy is really aggressive, so he'll be maneuvering offensively, and he's unused to defensive warfare. Right. Defensive combat. Ooh. Right, so basically a lot of the recommended reading here talks about um, basically trying to not be in the position where the enemy are. Um, basically trying to evade them as much as possible, maybe drain their fuel. Um, if we go down to Allied Craft, we have a support carrier you can see here. Uh, two beam drones, two stinger drones, six 60mm and six 11mm railguns. And the missile schooner uh, has two flak missile launchers, two nuclear strike launchers and cannons. So it looks to me like we're going to be really relying on missiles and drones. We need to make sure that we take the most of that and we don't get into combat. The enemy, on the other hand, have an escort carrier. So they do have two Stinger drone launchers. Uh, they've got 11 mil railguns there. Laser frigate. Four violet 100 megawatt lasers. Those are pretty decent. Eight 11 mil railguns. And two orbital defense craft. With a number of short range cannons and two flak missile launchers. It's going to be an interesting missile fight. But it's definitely going to be a missile fight. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, the strike missile is 2.45 kilotons. Pure fission nuke. Really not even boosted? Oh, need to get some hydrogen bombs in there. Alright, let's begin the mission. This one's going to be tough. Incoming transmission. You're vastly outnumbered, Admiral. If you offer to surrender, I will accept it. I will not accept your surrender. Okay. So. We're on the same plane. Let's have a quick look at uh, how much Delta V it would take to... Uh, I need to select that. There we go. Get down to the enemy. Not very much Delta V at all. In which case... Cancel that. Focus camera. Hello. Missile Schooner. I would like you to launch. Do we start with the strike nukes or do we start with the missiles? How many have you got? You've got 100 rounds and 100 rounds. Okay. I say we start with... Fifty flax, and then we'll launch twenty nukes afterwards. They've launched stinger drones. They've launched flak missiles. Okay. Um, select flak missiles. Let's get an opposite intercept. Let's make them the frame of reference. There we go. Flybound Capital Fleet. 
Okay. Now, you see their missiles have set up an intercept with us. And their drones. I believe they're in one fleet. So, what we'll do is move to avoid them. So, we zoom in on our fleet. Uh, oops, that is our missile fleet. Uh, select our main fleet. What I'm tempted to do is to maneuver into a high inclination orbit. Which will be a pain to start maneuvering around in. But honestly, it will really help. Uh, let's make Ceres the center. Ooh, wow, the enemies is going to be uh, intercepting us soon. Let's start messing with them then. Right, let's go to there. Wait, not quite that much out of plane. Maybe even chuck some radial in. The idea being trying to throw off everything we can about their maneuvering. We're not going to really be able to stop the Stinger drones because they're going directly for us. That said, they are burning so hard, they're probably going to miss us. So I... am going to reburn... And you know what? Once we've done that burn, which will take a minute... Yeah, they've compensated. We're going to bring ourselves back in. Like that. Maybe not quite so much. We want to be going past them at a very high velocity. Because that way, the drones will have a very short window to target us. Okay, bring it. I think now is also a great time to... I keep doing the wrong one. Launch. Our nukes. Where are the nukes? I don't see them. They are here. I've got them. Okay. Right. Intercepting uh, is going to be a lot more fun. Okay. Let's make the enemy fleet the objective. But a little bit... If we burn the other way, we could probably just get an intercept straight on, head on with them. In many days. Right, let's just go back to a normal frame of reference, right? Sarah's. Okay. Ah, the sheer time is just going in the system because it's such a low gravity. Okay, I understand that. We'll just burn straight towards them then. There we go.
Swing around the planet. Fly by. Oh, you can't fly by in time. Okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way then. Right. Make them. Oh, God. This is going to be a fun one. Right. How are we doing? Close, but no cigar. Let's continue burning. That looks better. How are we doing? A lot better. Okay, and the flyby is successfully plotted. Right. Let's also select um, our other missiles, which, quite frankly, could do with a little bit of an improvement. Uh, frame reference to series. Burn radially to make sure they get in nice and quick. Two days, not quite what I was going for, but we could burn a little bit more. Speed that up. One day. It's been one day since you looked at me. Oh, even better. 22 hours. That... I'm tempted to accept. Can we get any better? No. Okay. Burns are in. Enemy drones are coming. Transmission. That's a chance to surrender. Not gonna happen. Okay. I don't think we shoot the drones. I think we just pass them at high velocity. The flyby time is relatively short. We just need to increase the speed. Which we're gonna pass them. Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Incoming transmission. We got owned! Those drones! I thought they wouldn't have really got a chance to do that, but... Damn! Okay. Incoming transmission. Well, we've been told. I think this is a great place to end this episode. We'll come back next time and, uh... I guess we'll just unleash a vast volley on them. Maybe we should even set up some of our own drones to take down their drones. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we can do drone drone warfare. But until then, I've been it really soon. If you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And of course, as always, stay shiny.